and then you look at the content if it's you know people say oh, I'm watching it's news related because I want to be informed well most news is negative and fear inducing and depressing about the state of the world so no wonder you feel depressed after two and a half hours yeah. and there's no limit to it I, I think about it as well you know remember when you used to go to the post box to get your, your mail yeah. that was delivered once a day you know if you're lucky, yeah, you're lucky you go yeah. out and you go oh I've got three pieces or even if it's ten pieces you got 10 pieces of mail. Once they're open, that's it. No more. You've got I to wait to till even, tomorrow for I used any to, more. I used to get even happy with the promotional material. <laughs> really? <laughs> because there's nothing else to read. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't even, I don't know what to say to that. The catalogue. That was an event. <laughs> <laughs> so it's playing with our emotions. Um, but the time spent, like what you say, the mm. time spent on it, I think there's sort of different categories of these negative impacts that what else could you be doing with that time? You know, you could be exercising, you could be um, outdoors in nature, things that are both things that are good for your mental health. You could be, you could um, be with your partner, with your connecting, one, yeah, with, being intimate with your kids, with your kids yeah. talking to them, mm -hmm. finding out about their day, you playing could, with them. You could be studying, you could be developing yourself in some way. You could be learning a language. You could be doing all these other things. Hmm. And that's where you lose out in mental health yeah. as well. So it's it's not just the impact that it has. In a negative. In, it's that indirect what, indirect what you're missing out on. Yeah, that's mm. a good point because mm. you are missing out. And if you're missing out in the good stuff of mental health, eventually that will catch up with you because we call that normally self-care. Yes, yeah. So if self-care is not happening, yep. if maintenance is not happening, what do they say? If you if you don't use it, you lose it. Mm -hmm. So if you don't use your good mental health, you lose mm -hmm. your good mental health. Mm -hmm. So for all of these reasons, um, you know, some of the statistics mm -hmm. out there are those who use social media for that average amount a day, two to three hours, mm -hmm. you've got twice the risk of having mental, poor mental health. So Absolutely. depression and anxiety are the See? main ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there any positives? Like, so what are we saying then? Uh, like get rid yeah. of it completely? Well, first of all, you get a nice dopamine hit, and that feels nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that kind of a positive. They, but if you get too many of those, you become addicted. Mm -hmm. uh, also, what I have noticed, for example, on social media, yes, it has put me in contact with people. It has allowed me to maintain contact mm. with some very dear friends yeah. that because we live in different parts of the world, we have lost touch. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. That is nice. The ability to put photos up of my trip and share with my loved ones and my friends in one go. That's yes. also quite nice, you know. Um, so there are, there are benefits. It's entertaining. Yeah. That's also a benefit. There's also, there are certain sort of apps and resources and things out yeah. there that can be helpful for people. I mean, there's even therapy apps mm -hmm. out there, not all created equal, you know. Mm -hmm. um, well, we use, we use our phones quite a, a lot to be able to work remotely, mm -hmm. um, check emails, uh, check messages. Uh, which before we couldn't do that, we had to be receiving the mail, for example, yeah. or emails. Yeah. So I think so definitely there are some benefits. And we don't want to lose those. I also think that it's simply unrealistic to suggest to people like just get rid of your phone no. completely or don't, you know, have social media. Very Although tempting sometimes, though. Very we tempting. all know people mm. who don't have social media and, you know, they fine. seem to be fine, <laughs> normal human beings. Mm. But in this day and age with it so pervasive i think it's difficult to say don't use it at all um it, i think it's got to be about setting those realistic limits around it putting some restrictions into it you know whatever works for you whether it's you know a certain number of hours a day whether it's a day of the week that's technology free um making sure that certain like meal times are sacred and we don't have it at the table like so leave your phone behind sometimes yeah. as a family mm -hmm. and what would happen if you go went to the beach for half a day and you didn't take a phone, mm -hmm. well, not a single one. Mm -hmm. That would feel terrifying, wouldn't it? But <laughs> well, it's not going to get stolen was, while you're in the that water. That was life before. <laughs> that's how we used to go to the beach. There was no phones. Yeah. There, nobody was freaking out just in case somebody needs to call me. Mm -hmm. So we have lost that ability. That used to be mm -hmm. a strength. <laughs> what we're saying is that we don't need to get rid of the stupid phone. Uh, what we need to do is give it the importance that it deserves and also know when to make sure that it doesn't creep in our lives. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I, we said in the beginning that we have done is come up with one hour that is dedicated, yeah. completely de dedicated to each other. No kids, 
No, no TV. This is completely about each other every day. Mm -hmm. Why every day? Because we're married. We love each other. We enjoy each other's company. Why wouldn't it be every day? You know? Um, can we get more time with each other? Yes, throughout the day we can get more time with each other. It's not limited to one hour, but at least having that hour guarantees yeah. that regardless of how busy we are, yeah. we're going to come together, which yeah. I love. Coming together, I love every yeah. day, you know. And I um, think that's important. You know, couples, we live busy lives. There's so much to do with yeah. kids and work, etc. It's so important because I'm seeing so many couples really struggling. Yeah with their relationships. I mean, the levels of separation and divorce now are higher than ever before. This is one part of it that I think is underestimated how big an impact it has. And if you want a 100% guarantee that you are going to become depressed, keep, keep at neglecting mm. your relationship. Mm. You will be 100% relationships depressed are a, guaranteed one day. <laughs> they're a huge part of our mental health and well-being. Huge part, Massive. huge part, yeah. a huge part of suicide huge part of anxiety mm -hmm. when, when we're not connected with, with another human being at a deep intimate level we suffer mm -hmm. we suffer mm -hmm. yeah. and this expands out also to another sort of strategy more generally which is to make sure you have your goals in life make sure you have act other activities that you're focused on so uh, when your life is full of real life real world activities there mm -hmm. is less time available for the the social media scrolling. That's true. Because um, you, you've driven, you've got a target, you've got a purpose. Yeah, absolutely. It makes you an interesting person too. <laughs> it to does. have other hobbies except uh, uh, social media. Yeah. And also teach all this to your kids. You know? Yeah. They need, they're moving into a world that we don't know what it's going to look like. So starting off with some awareness around how how it works, how the algorithms work. You know, if you notice some of these things happening, you know, they're not, it's not a surprise. It's, we need to be more savvy around this, but that alone is not enough. It then has to be the action. And for kids, you and have a right to put the, restrictions in as a parent. They may that, need to be weaned off. <laughs> it may need to be yes. a gradual yeah. weaning. But yeah, 100% correct. But I think more important than teaching this to your kids is role model this to your mm. kids. Because if you're telling your kids, don't be on the phone. And you're I'm, on the phone. I'm guilty as charged, yeah. Yep. If I'm telling my kids, don't be on the phone, but if at every minute that kid sees me on the phone, what do you think they're going to do? Yeah. They're going to think the phone is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So let's role model. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, it's easy to tell other people, yes, we, you, we should be doing this, but the real masters are the ones that do it. Yeah. So role model that for your kids. Even if it's not for yourself, do it for your kids. Yeah. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.